Hey, what's going on guys? Big Country here. Welcome back to Country Living. And today's video is all about the Skyhook RDTA Box by Smoke Tech. If it's not clear yet, it is just, if you don't know yet, I'm, I'm a huge Smoke fan. I, I love Smoke Tech. I love the products. Uh, they're the product, they're the brand that got me off of smoking, off of smoking tobacco, cigarettes, and I've been vaping for almost two months now, and I haven't had a cigarette since. So I am a diehard fan, loyal to Smoke Tech. I've got a bunch of stuff in my drawer here. <laughs> Go back and look at some of my reviews. i got a bunch of more things coming. Uh, but this right here I'm really excited about because I'm just now kind of diving into the RDA um, part of vaping. And I was really excited about this, so I went ahead and picked it up. Now let's go ahead and go down and look, take a close-up look at what's in the box, what you watch, everything you get, and uh, talk about it some. Okay, welcome to this close-up look of the Skyhook RDTA box by Smoke Tech, the Aliens Cloud Machine. Now, quickly, I want to go ahead and just read the the sales description of this product. It does say the Smock Skyhook RDTA box is the next cutting-edge technology primed to storm the industry, presenting a high-performance output system with an integrated Skyhook RDTA that caters towards advanced builders and fully ergonomic form factor. The Skyhook 220 watt TC box mod features modernized resemblance to the highly anticipated Alien 220 watt, implementing a stealth firing bar painted with vibrant colors alongside a large OLED display matrix to provide extensive information within a user friendly operational interface. Now let's go ahead and check out the box. This is the way the package comes. You know, you got the, uh, the color of the image on the box it represents the color of the device inside normal smock box as you can tell manufacturing information on this side you got all this good stuff on this side it's all in one design a 220 watt max power nine milliliter built-in tank the big side fire but fire bar the 0.96 inch oled screen floating velocity posts support single coil built multiple air flows removable drip tip and drip tank flavor and clouds. <laughs> All right, and we look at the back, and it's just a little more story about the uh, their their descriptions and story about the Skyhook RDTA. There is no what in, is included in the box, but you do have your scratch to reveal authentication code on the back here as well. Open her up. There we go. Big old bunch of plastic one, uh, protective plastic on the front there. Hold things together. All right, I don't like his plate. We're going to get rid of that right off the bat. I never do like his stuff. And my ex-wife, she used to love that. She would always yell at me for picking stuff off TVs, VCRs, DVD, whatever. But I always pick that stuff off initially. I mean, like right off the bat. This fire button. Oh. Uh, mine's way loose. That button's way loose. Huh. This will click, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll check it out. And of course, you got Skyhook back here. RDTA 220 watt temperature controls. RDTA box. Carbon fiber. Going all around. This is your drip tank window or your, your e liquid window. Fill your tank up right here. So it does have some pre-installed coils I just saw. Let's take this tank atomizer off. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll pull this off like that. Move right here, just uh, some one, two, three, seven wrap coils it looks like. Just clappings, I believe, I think. Not 100% positive. For the airflow. Oh, this just screws off. Okay. 
So that's your drip tip. I don't know what else could screw on here. It's an O-ring right there inside of it, like right there. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if my phone will focus in good enough, but that, there's an O-ring right there. So this is a 510 drip tip. Yeah, I believe so. 510 drip tip. Put whatever you want in there. But bottom airflow, side airflow. It goes on really loose. I mean, it's like really easy. It's like not hard at all. It's like not hard at all to get it off. So now adjust the... <clears throat> and get this back on. What you want to do is you want this protrusion, this little rod right here, you want it to go plug right into that centerpiece there. That's, the, that's what makes the contact for the batteries. It's a little tough. It's got to squeeze in. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just spinning on the freaking tank. <laughs> I guess you don't want to be too tough. Okay, that, that right there will be fine. I have the, uh, have the uh, intakes on the sides, but I guess you can't adjust the side airflow, just the bottom airflow, because if you notice the top, the the, the side air the side airflow it's never ever blocking off anything. It's just adjustable bottom airflow. So I guess if you want six eight eight holes to have massive airflow, leave them all open. If you want to get down to six to where the smaller holes, you can just close it like that. I guess those are just regular old collapsing coils. I really don't know. I'm still learning the world of RT, RDTAs or of RDAs in general. And of course, the battery door is the same positive one, positive indicator, negative indicator, and also on the uh, the door does tell you which battery is A and B. That way, when you look on your screen, it should have both battery levels. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in this thing just to uh, just to see that. Okay, so we got some batteries. We got yes, yeah, so let's say A and B over the batteries. No coil, huh? I wonder if it's going to say that because I have no cotton in it, or what? Maybe I need a firmware upgrade. Let me try that. Okay, I'm back. All right, what we had to do? I had to do a little bit of research, and come to find out, this pin right here. It, um, for whatever reason, it's not going down far enough to have that connection for the, uh, so it can uh, register the coil. So I, I, I screwed it. I unscrewed it quite a bit, actually. It's a little bit more loose than I think it should be. But I, I had to in, in order just for it to read it. So what I may do, because if you can see, I don't know if my camera is focused in there or not. But at the, at the top of these posts here, there's, um... A couple of washers, or maybe not washer. Yeah, I think it's a washer, a plastic washer, or an O-ring, or a Delrin, or whatever. But I might just see if I can't find something to add to that, just so I can tighten this back down. Because right now, you see, it's pretty loose. And I think, yeah, it's all attached to my my deck. So, anyway, there's that. <laughs> I'm able to register the coil now. It is a 2.5 ohm, or a 0.25 ohm coil head up oh, yep well now i want the 2.9 hmm i don't know let's see i do this a couple times all right man this thing on things already giving me problems it's uh i've noticed uh it's all over the web on this damn thing i had to tighten down the tighten down the cap some more and it wound up re-registering in the mod now it's parading at 0.59 I don't know what the deal is. I think you just it's just a connection, man. From one to the uh from uh the pin of the cap and down down here and into the fluid tank into the tank. It looks like that side is fine. But this side's a little a little off. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. This damn coil, see it keeps, every time it does this crap, it wants to change the, the coil. I 
Look how loose that positive post is because of this. It's feeling warm, so I'm going to stop. I'll fill that thing up, so... Yeah, let's go back up and talk about it. You know, I tell you, I'm very, very disappointed in this thing. I, I, I think it's too much trouble than it's worth. I'm not even going to fill it up. I'm not even going to... Um, I can't find a firmware upgrade for it anywhere. Uh, every time I try to do some adjustments on it, it's like a, the, the ohms and all that stuff. Just keep getting the error messages. I uh, watched a video from some guys called Tiny Vape, Tiny Box Vape Shop. And they said it best, which makes sense. You know, it, it's, it's, uh, if, if you can get it to work, you get some, some insane clouds, some amazing clouds. But if you're willing to put that work in and, and just keep, you know, messing with it and tinkering it. And I don't think I am. I don't know if I'm willing to do that. I mean, if you know some uh, little tricks or tips or something down there, then uh, I'll, I'll probably revisit this at a later date. Maybe I'll figure stuff out and do some more research on my own. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm bummed, man. I'm really bummed. Really bummed. Thankfully, though, where I got it from, I, uh, the website, the Vapor Supply, they're, they are a uh, sponsor of the channel. And my, first of all, they got great prices to begin with. And secondly, if you use my code COUNTRY15 uh, in a checkout, you'll get an extra 15% off store-wide. I mean, I have everything. So go check it out. The links will be the top of the to the top of the description for them. I think after uh, after my code, this thing was only forty forty seven forty eight dollars, maybe even cheaper. But I'm disappointed. I'm bummed. This is probably just going to go back in the box. All right, guys. Real quick, I just wanted to let you know. After a while, I was editing this video. I was working on this as well. I think I got it working, so I went ahead and whipped up the deck. As you can see, from what I've seen, that's about as far as the, the wick needs to go. So I'm going to use this thing for a couple of days, and I'll come back in, uh, I don't know, in, in a few days and uh, kind of give you my thoughts on it, see if I have any more problems or not. But I just wanted to kind of, <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of let you know that I, I did think I got, I got it worked out. What I did is I went ahead and tightened that pin back up, and I just screwed this in tighter i used a pair of pliers and i screwed it in tighter to make sure that that was getting the connection uh, a good connection down there so yeah i think maybe this that that prod needs to be a little longer or you shouldn't feel resistance until it's um in far enough to work because i felt like i was going to break the damn thing if i went any further so anyway i'm gonna use it for a couple of days and i'll come back i'll make another video just a quick video to kind of let you know how i feel about it but until next time, I'll go back to Old Faithful 220. Keep on vaping and living, baby.